super excited today because we are going to an invasión de bandas. I'm super excited because they haven't done anything like this in a while. I don't even know when was the last time I went to something like this. If I had a guess, it was over five, six years ago. Over five, six years ago, Bastar, Banda Recodo, Julio Preciado, Los Sebastianes. I don't even know who else, but it's gonna be lit. I'm super excited. I did do a giveaway on my Instagram. I gave out free VIPs, including entrance. I gave out two regular admissions. So in total, I hooked it up to six people. So in case you haven't already added me on Instagram, my Instagram is at Lily underscore underscore bay. But before we get started with today, I do want to show you guys my outfit inspos and what I'm thinking I'm going to wear. I'm not 100% sure yet, so I do need your help. And shout out to Rockin' Boots because me mando, she overnighted me some boots that I needed, um, a possible outfit that I might wear. It just honestly depends on the weather because I was like, hopefully, hopefully it'll be like in the, in the 80s all day today. But let's see. Alexa, what's the weather like outside? With a high of 90 and a low of 77 degrees. So that is what I have to deal with you guys. Almost 100 degrees outside. And I'm pretty sure it will feel like 100 because you guys know when it's humid. Mm. Well, so por eso I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna wear yet. So come on, let's go check it out. All right, I have this super cute crop top. It's all open right here. Thin material so I won't be too hot in it. It has sleeves with the halter at the same time. It actually looks super cute on. I was thinking this, some jeans, um, or shorts, my high boots, we'll see, I don't know yet, right? I also have this super cute green shirt, which I know green right now is in style, so I'm like, damn, I wanna use it before green goes out of style and then I'm stuck like Chuck, but it is a crop top, it also wraps around, and it's a very loose material, so I feel like it's gonna be good for outside as well. And then I also have this super cute, this is what I wanted to wear because it's so extra, blazer with the fringe. You guys, I am obsessed with it. I, I was thinking about wearing this with the shorts that I came with and some high boots, Kevin Mando, rocking boots, um, which actually she does sell this. So I might insert a video of me wearing this here in case I don't show you guys. Um, but I freaking love this. However, I feel like it is super hot outside, so I really have to pick and choose what I should wear, you know? And these are literally my only options. Everything else that I have, I've already worn. And then you guys know on my last vlog, I went to the mall and no encontré ni madres. But all right, you guys, let's get ready for the Hattie film. I'm super excited for the first time ever on YouTube. I'm actually going to be going step by step on all the makeup products that I wear. So let's get today started. All right, babes, ya me bañé, finally, right? Por fin me bañé, just kidding. It's only, oh my God, it's already 11.30. We're supposed to leave here at 1.30. Do you guys think I'm gonna make it or no? If you guys are on my live, you guys are probably gonna be like, no, bitch, because you're always fucking late. Pero una, always late, like I'm pretty good with being on time if I have to be somewhere like a reservation or something like that, but like, this doesn't have no reservations, so it's okay if I'm a little late, you know what I'm saying? But before we get started, I am gonna do my skincare first, and then I'm gonna do my hair while my skincare like settles in my face, y luego, I'm gonna do my makeup at the end. Usually, I do my makeup first, but I don't know why today I feel like doing my hair first, so let's just get to it. And if you guys haven't seen my skincare video of everything that I use, I'm gonna leave it linked down below. It should be about us, it should be about trust. Okay, ya me peiné, ya me eché mi heat protector, and now I'm gonna curl my hair with my baby list curling iron that I got from Ulta. So I'm gonna try to curl the bottom of my hair and then maybe straighten the top. I don't even know what I'm doing yet because it's super hot outside, it's Florida. If you live here, you know exactly the struggle. My hair's not even gonna stay, so. And this time I'm actually, actually going to try to curl it correctly because literally every time I do my hair curly, I am rushing. So my curls, like I wouldn't keep this in this long, but I feel like maybe that's why they fall so easily. So today we're gonna try to be patient, baby. Really, really. Patient. El del cochinero. Yo, 
Yo, shout out to Mando for making me this green smoothie. This is literally gonna be my breakfast today. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but also shout out to Stacy Creates 2020 for sending me this super cute custom cup with the little yellow glitter that goes up and down. Super good quality. I've been using this. Y lo lavo y está como si estuviera nuevo. So Alexa, resume. Pero si le pongo by the way, we're gonna go see Carol G in September, which I'm so excited for. What about you, Anna? I'm so excited. <laughs> it's gonna be a girls' day. We're gonna go. It's gonna be in Orlando. It's gonna be like, I don't even know how many girls. How many of us are there? Like five or six or seven? I don't even know, right? I'm super excited because we're gonna get lit. <laughs> figure out how I should do the top because my roots are starting to grow in but I usually go like every two months this is the hardest part for me I feel like before I used to have this part on lock right but I feel like lately I don't know if it's because I've been Fodonga vibes sometimes and you know I lost my routine but lately I don't know how to get this hair to look cute I'll come back to it but for now this is what it's looking like I didn't do like all this hair because I'm gonna go in with the straightener and do all that um but yeah so far this is the curls and I'm not running my finger through it yet once I straighten it I'll go through it with some hairspray and then I'll go fix any little curls that need some help I only know this song because it's on TikTok I just did my hair off camera really quick just to hurry up because <laughs> it's 12.30. I have one more hour left until I gotta go and I still gotta change, do my makeup. So yeah, I gotta hurry up y'all. I'm actually going to move my makeup station downstairs because it is getting a little hot up here because I have this window right next to me and it's almost 100 degrees outside. So I have some time to left on. So yeah, you guys. Um, I'll see you guys downstairs. All right, babes, I am back. Finally came downstairs. It took me a while because I was lugging everything downstairs. Todo mi desmadre, because we're about to get started with the makeup and now it's about to be one. So technically I have like 30 minutes to do my makeup supposedly, but fuck that, we're not gonna leave at 1.30 no more. It is what it is, right? All right, so I have my Milk Hydro Grip uh, Primer. I only wear this whenever I have like an event to go to just because I feel like it helps grip my makeup a little better, you know? But don't quote me on that. So while that sits in there, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Tell me if this bugs you guys so next time I won't put it here, but I need it here because I need a mirror. All right, so I'm gonna brush my eyebrows up with the spoolie. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Auburn. And then I just outline my eyebrows. I haven't finished my green tea. I mean, I haven't finished my protein. So let me just chug this before I forget. Cause then Mando's gonna come down here and see this even my mother. I literally gotta chug my green smoothie and I also got my Salud Hibiscus for hydration that I'm also trying to finish before I get out there. So, wish me luck, guys. All right, now I'm using my Born This Way in the color Vanilla, which is what I'm gonna use to outline to sculpt my eyebrows, which I only do when I go like to a Haripel or when I'm trying to be a little extra, I sculpt my eyebrows and I use it as a base too for my eyeshadow. So, let's do it. I just realized something, babes. Cuando, today is Saturday. Las fiestas en el pueblo and in the rancho están a todo lo que dan right now in Guanajuato. And for the first time ever, <laughs> we didn't go. But I'm like, yo, ahorita es como si estuviéramos arreglándonos to go to las fiestas. Do you hear that, Anna? Yeah. 
So we need to we need to feel like if we're in Mexico right now, right? And that just changes the whole mood, right? Isn't it different? Like when you're getting ready over there, you're like more in ambiente, and when you're here, it's like okay, I'm going to Haripel. But it's a whole nother feeling over there, right? Is it just me? Yeah. Right now that I just thought about that, I was like. Yo, I'm about to I'm about to pop open a drink. You down or what? All right, babes. Today I'm going to use Myra and Karina's Hemela palette, which I am obsessed with. You guys are gonna see why right now. Obsessed, obsessed. Because I feel like it has the perfect combination of colors. Let let me let me show you guys in case you haven't seen. It has lights, darks, browns, nudes, mattes, glitters, brights, everything. Everything you need, I feel like, is in this palette. <gasps> yeah, la cagué. What did I do? So today, I'm going to use this, and I'm so excited. Now, disclaimer. I should have said this at the beginning of the vlog because... No, I should have said this when I started my makeup. Disclaimer, I am not a professional makeup artist at all. For the longest, I haven't been wanting to show you guys how I do my makeup because of that reason. Because I feel like I could barely do my makeup. Like I could do it to where it looks really nice, but that's what I think, right? I don't know what other people think. I definitely don't know how to do other people's makeup. So for the longest, I'm like, no, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna dip my toes into that water. But since today we are getting ready for for Hari Bell, you guys are going to see what I do. So, all right, let's get started. All right, I'm going to go in with. Let me see, what should I go in with? Oh, no, what am I wearing? I'm gonna go in with this teddy color. I'm gonna stay like on the nudes and possibly do like a glittery lid story of my life because I might wear green so I don't want to go in with these crazy colors and then I wear green you know what I'm saying so just to keep it you know simple and cute I'm gonna go in with this teddy I'm just going in with this old real techniques brush that doesn't even have the numbers on it no more so don't judge me Mando's looking at me like laughing laughing and I'm just putting this on the crease Never in a million years that I think I would be here, like going in depth with my makeup. And I do both eyes at the same time. I just go like back and forth, back and forth. All right, and right now I'm just swooping it to go like up. So I'm kind of going on my outer lid and then going up. Outer lid going up and then bringing it back down like at a V at the tip, almost like a wing. And blend, 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 blend. All right, now I'm gonna go in with this bunny color right here for my brow bone. Um, let me see if you can see. I'm gonna go in with the bunny color for my brow bone with this super old stigma brush, but it's one of my favorite brushes for my brow bone, as you can see. And I just lightly tap it in there and then I kind of move it around because I'm letting it grip onto the concealer that I have in there. No pasa nada. Now I'm going in with the color Glam. It's like a glittery, super cute, rosy pink color. Um, I'm gonna go in and tap that into my lid. Probably use my finger for this because I just feel like glitter sticks better with your finger. But if my finger is not working that day, I go in with this super old elf, bl elf brush that I have. Don't get me wrong, I do have new brushes, but I always find myself going back to like my OGs. And this one, it's just more like thicker and compact, so I feel like it's easier. It's going in with my telescopic mascara. Ah. My light just turned off. Mine goes my production team, you guys. All right, I'm reapplying my under eye major key because I feel like when I don't apply this under eye crema, uh, my under eye concealer just looks dry and like it looks like it's just sitting on top of my eyes, on top of my skin. Pues, qué diferencia sin luz, verdad? Okay, All right, now I'm gonna go in with my under eye concealer. Remember, I use the Born This Way in the color Vanilla. Vanilla. 
I just saw a TikTok where people were saying not to put your concealer like this. But I was like, girl, you don't even know how to do your makeup. So I'm not gonna listen to you. And I really like how it looks, so. And I'm also going to go in with the Hope color from Rare Beauty for my under eye. I do get a lot of questions about this, actually. Um, people are like, what? What? Wait, 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 what? Bitch, what are you doing? Um, I actually learned this trick on TikTok. Of course. I think Ilo Sarai had done it, and ever since then, I can't get enough. I can't get enough. All right, now I'm gonna use the Giorgio Armani Born This Way. I'm using my 5.9 um, because I've been out in the sun, so that's just the color that kind of goes with me right now. Yes, okay, it's still, I think, a little light, but let's see. Go so out, I mix my NARS color M3 Stromboli. I mix these two together because I feel like it just gives me more coverage. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to go in with the color Happy from Rare Beauty. It's always sold out, but if you see it, grab it. Either Rare Beauty, um, either the color Happy or Hope. The color Hope is more like an everyday type color blush. Like it's very, it's kind of soft and is not so out there. But today, since you know we are going out and it's gonna be dark al rato, I'm going in with this color, which I am obsessed with. So okay, yet. And then I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Stick in the color Truffle. Like even though my forehead is a little too light because I'm darker up there, whenever you add the contour, it kind of helps bring everything in together better. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, which ever since I came across this, I haven't gone back to anything else. And I'm just gonna go in under my, I'm just gonna go back to my under eye with my wet sponge and kind of smooth everything out again. And if you feel like you need more under eye concealer, this is the time for you to put it, but maybe, no, I think I'm fine. I don't keep it on too long at all because the longer that I keep it, the drier I feel it makes my under eyes look, believe it or not. So I just literally leave it on for like those few seconds. And whenever I'm taking it off, I kind of bring it up, you know, like that. And I actually set everything else with my Crystal Cosmetics palette. Um, or any bronzer or any blush I set with the powder afterwards. Let me show you guys. Or you could just use whatever contour you use. And I just go over my contour that I already have with this powder. And it just helps set it in place, you know? Porque no se mueva tanto. And then I'm gonna go in with the blush. And I kind of just tap it a little bit over the contoured area where the blush is at. And then whatever is left, I kind of just dust the rest of my face. Like my nose and stuff with it. And then I'm gonna go in with this highlighter. It's usually not my go-to highlighter, but I don't feel like going upstairs right now, so. And I just go over the highs of my cheekbones which that blush that it comes with are, is already like very glittery, which I do like. Um, so yeah. Now I'm gonna put on my lashes. I have these two right here. I'm debating which ones to put on. They're kind of the same style. One is a little more fluffier than the other. This, These are from The Lash Plug, which if you know, you know. If you watch my lives, she's always hooking it up and always sends me some of my faves. And these are some of my faves, the Style Italy and Camila. Um, let me see. Do I want dramatic or do I want they're both fucking dramatic? Who am I kidding? Just one is more thicker than the other. I'm gonna go with the thicker one just because you know it's a violet. I gotta try a little harder sometimes. I can't be full on vibes on my life, you know. Alright, I'm gonna add some glue and I love this duo glue in the color blue. <laughs> 
dries up a little bit i'm gonna go in with this nyx liquid liner which is one of my faves it's a matte liner i just i usually use this just to do my inner corners and sometimes when i when i glue my eyelashes a little up over my lash line i just basically color it in doing <laughs> but um i also forgot that i also um the same little color that i have that teddy color i'm gonna go in with like a straight brush like this so you can see right and i'm gonna go on my under eye all right what can i do while while that thing that i just messed up dries and i just go along my water line and then i kind of drag it down and I'm also going to go in with the color brownie that you see down there. It's this shade right here. But again, just a little tiny bit to make it a little darker. Can't find the I, the lip liner that I was wanting to use from Hemelas Cosmetic. Ugh, it's because I have my shit all over the place. But I am gonna use these this Morphe in the color Love Bites. Sheesh. I was like, please be sharpened, please be sharpened. I'm also going over with my NYX pencil in the color brown. I don't recommend these NYX ones because they do dry out. But since I want it a little darker, my lip liner, that's why I'm going over it. I'm going to go in with Hemela's Cosmetics color Mia. But you use a very, very, very little bit. Because if you put too much, it's going to be pink AF. Went in with my Cladali Beauty Elixir, and once that dries, I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I literally only use this whenever I'm going out because if I use it for my everyday, I, my, it feels like too tacky on my face, and I don't like that feeling. Even though I know it dries, and then you don't feel it no more, but still, I'm just weird. Don't judge me. All right, I'm gonna go change. That is my makeup. I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna change. Actually, let's go. You guys gotta see my outfits because Lord Jesus. All right, you guys, this is outfit number one, the green top with the bell. And the only thing is I gotta change these pants because they do fit me too long. I just thought maybe they would fit with the boots, but they don't. But let me know what do you guys think. All right, you guys, I am officially ready. Shout out to the girls for helping me put this together because I had no idea what I was gonna wear for sure because it's so hot outside. It's so hot outside, it feels hot in here. So yeah, I ended up wearing my boots from Rockin' Boots, brand new. Shout out to them, check them out. I'm gonna leave them linked down below because I freaking am obsessed with these botas. Some leather shorts that I already had. And then I got this shirt from Amazon too. You might be thinking, bitch, didn't you say it's hot? But it is super flowy and it is very thin. So I feel like it makes me feel cool, you know? But yeah. If you wanna see how it goes down tonight, check out our page, Lillian Bay. It's gonna be lit because you know what? We are finally drinking. We haven't drank in about a month and a half, almost two months, like drank, drink. So I'm excited, I'm excited. We're gonna get lit, we're gonna be outside. So see you guys later, bye.